All right, let's go, guys. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to do intro doctorate networking. It's uh, still loading. All right. So it's part of learning complete beginner and learning path. And as you see guys a new background, I just moved to another place temporarily in a busy week. Still loading. All right, so it's gonna be under network export basics under understand, enumerate, and attack various networking services in real world environment. So let's get into it. I don't think you need an attack box for this one. It's just introductory. As you know, guys, I'm just going to show you how to answer each task. I strongly recommend to read each task to get full understanding. It is a lot of information for this one. So let's get right into it. Introductory networking and introduction to networking theory and basic networking tools. So task one, introduction, just talks about the various topics, the OIS model, TCP slash IP model. And yeah, that's the questions we'll just get started. Click complete. All right, task two, the OIS model and overview. So for this one, you just need to Get familiar with this one. OS, OSI, there's seven layers, application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. So answer questions below for which, for the which layer questions below answer using the layer number one through seven. Which layer would choose to send data over TCP or UDP? So you read it, it's layer four transport, talks about the two most common protocols, TCP, transmission control protocol, and UDP, user data ground protocol. So I would say four, yeah. Next question, which layer checks receive information to make sure that it hasn't been corrupted? Checks information. So, Receive and this is layer two. The data link also serves important function. Receives data, checks receive information, make sure it hasn't been corrupted. So two. Next question: Which layer would data be formatted in preparation for transmission? So transmission presentation receives data format. So transformation data. So I believe it's six. No, it's not. It's seven. Format. Or again, I think. No, it's not. Which layer would data be format in preparation for transmission? Let's see, format. It's a uh, data format. Okay, it's two. Again, I believe. And next question which layer transmits and receives data? Transmit and receive data. So, application. Seven. Receive data. Let's see. Oops. Oh. Oh. Layer transmits and receive data. Let's see.
Okay. Oh, what is happening? Nope. Transmit. Received it. I believe it's five, isn't it? It's not five. Oh, never mind. Transmit. I receive is one. Sorry, guys. See, electrical transfer. Yeah. Which, uh, which layer encrypts, compress, and otherwise transform initial data? Give it to standardized format. I believe that's six is in presentation. Six. Yeah. Which layer tracks communication between the host and receiving computers? Right, the host and receiving computers. Let's say five. Which layer accepts communications from applications? Six. Okay. Seven. Which layer handles logical addressing? Logical address layer three. When sending data over TCP, what would you call the byte size pieces of data? So let's control find byte segments. Okay. Research which layer would FTP protocol communicate with. And FTP is a protocol used to transfer data between computers. It's often accessed with a special program called an FTP client. Oh, I was going to say three, but FTP. Oh, can be four because it's transport rate sending data. Oops. Stop four. Okay, I guess uh, let's Google this. So, application layer. Okay, so seven. Which transport protocol will be sit suited to transmit live video? So live video. Says TCP. So. Are you TCP? See, so you see the large connection, uh, connection base between this reliable transmission. Okay, so TCP. So UDP is a reliable transmission. Okay. All right, task three encapsulation. So it talks about seven stages. Answer questions below. How will you refer to data at layer two of encapsulation process with the OIS model? Layer two. Data frames, data link. Let's see. Data link. Enter and show added. Are you refer to the data? Let's see. There's data link. How do you refer, 
how would you refer to data at layer two in the cancellation process? So let's talk about data link. Physical address. Okay. Physical. Mm -hmm. So it's physical it's constellation at least. There's header control. It's not it. Let's try again. Number two for data link focus on packets. I think it's called packet, right? Right, frames. Duh. Yeah. Let's question how we refer to data at layer four in the cancellation process with OISA model if the UDB protocol has been selected. Layer four. Segments, datagrams. What process would a computer perform on a receive message? A receive message. So there, D encapsulation. Copy and paste. Which is the only layer of the OIS model to add trailer? to encapsulation. Data link, it's right here. Does encapsulation provide an extra layer of security, A or nay? So you toss about encapsulation on a computer to another. A, yeah. All right, task four, the TCP IP model. So it, there's the TCP, there's four layers and they have two models compared to each other. It talks about the accepts, sending acknowledgement, Let's see. Which model was introduced first, OSI or TCP IP? Introduced to the later, so you read through the history. TCP was first, so I'm just going to copy and paste. Which layer of TCP IP model converts the functionality of transport layer of the OSI model? Transport. Use transport. Which layer of the TCP IP model covers the functionality of sessions of layer of the OSI model? Session. Application. The network interface of the TCP IP model covers the functionality of two layers of the OS model. These layers are data link and data link and physical. Yep. 
Yeah. Which layer of the TCP IP model handles the functionality of OSI network layer? Network internet. What kind of protocol is TCP? Hint, in comparison, UTP would be connectionless. So TCP. Connection. Process, cancellation, exactly, model each layer. Connection. Synchronize. Oh, I think it's encapsulation. Science encapsulation of what type of code. Let's see. Connectionless. Okay. Connection base. There we go. And what is sync short for? That one was. We found it was synchronized. Copy and paste or type it in. What is the second step with the three way handshake? And you see here one, two, sin, knowledge. What's the short name for the acknowledgement segment in the three way handshake? ACK. All right, well, this is kind of a long video, guys. Oh, well. Task 5 Networking Tools Ping. Let's see, it talks about ping command, answer questions below. What, what command will you use to ping bbc.co.uk website? Oh. You copy this and you ping. You know, this is where your basic syntax pin target. Ping Merlando Oracle.co.uk was IP4 address. And you may need to answer number four first and use that switch to resolve IP4 address at the website rather than the IP6. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Google this. At, and it's talking about the IP4, right? So, this is all. Yeah. What switch lets you change the interval of sent ping requests? Look in the man page. What you can do is, uh, you can start a tag box, but I'm just gonna Google this. And die.net has all the syntaxes. And it talks about change intervals, right? And look, right here, dash i interval. What switch will allow you to restrict requests to IPv4? So restrict. All right, number, deadline. All right. What switch allow you to restrict requests from IP4? So that's uh, option ping, adaptive, allow, flow interval, 
I preload. Time hit verbal step line. I want to use what switch allow you to do that. So instead of uh, looking for answers. So ping with IP6, we can deduce this IP4, so yeah. What switch will you give a more ver verbose output? That one's crazy, verbose, right? Towards the V, verbose. All right, task six, networking tools, trace routes. So tell us about trace route syntax. Answer questions below. Use trace route on tryhami.com. Can you use the path on your request has taken? Let's do this. Oops, I mean, uh, trace route. Let's see what switch we use to specify an interface using trace route. Hint, an interface is provided by your NIC common interface or things like tunnels for VPN connections, Ethernet connections, and wireless connections. So I'm going to do this man ping. There you go. Die.net.gen. And tell us about interface, right? So. It sinks. So thought I am. So that's my interface. I'll see what switch we use if you want to use TCP SYN request when tracing a route. TCP. A big T, I think. And it says lateral thinking, which layer of the TCP IP model will trace uh, wrong by default when those transform. Um, it could be network, but I'm so network layer. There you go. I was thinking network. So.
which layer Internet. Oh yeah. So it is a network, but it's called internet. But, uh, All right, there we go. All right, task seven, who is? Let's uh, close up, close up, close up. Answer your questions below, perform below, perform who is search on Facebook. So I'm just gonna copy this and uh, who is dot com. See, next question What's the registered postal code for the Facebook telecom? Postal code 94025. Next question When was the Facebook.com domain first registered format DD MM and year? Register. Creation date, 1997, March 29. So, 3, 29, 97. Oops. That's not it. Over it. There we go. Perform who is on Microsoft. All right. No, if you fail to read the above instruction, constantly get the wrong answer for the next question. Don't expect a helpful response. You report it as a bug. In which city is the restaurant based in? Restaurant contact, Redmond. O S I N T, what is the name of the golf course that is near the restaurant address for Arkansas.com? So let's run on maps and tell us about golf course. So mines is kind of slow. There you go, Microsoft Millennium Campus. And there's a golf course here. Bellevue. Let's try it. Bellevue Golf Course. Yep. Last question was the registered tech email for Microsoft company. Technical contact. MSN. AHT MSN is a T. Oops. All right, task eight networking tools dig. Let's close this off. Tell us about the dig syntax. Answer your questions below. What is DNS short for? So, as you read. Well, to me, DNS. Let's see, there you go, DNS. Domain name system. What is the first DNS server your computer will carry? You search for a domain. The first thing your computer does is check host files to see if an explicit ID is. So. 
first type. Recursive DNS. What type of DNS server contains records specific to domain extensions? Use long version of the name, i.e. .com, see, specific domain extensions. Top level domain. Where is the first place you can be able to look up IP address of a domain? Hint, read the provided information carefully. This question refers to a system which is older than and completely separate from DNS. Oh, sorry guys, what an issue. Oh, host files. Press file? No. There we go. Research Google run two public DNS servers. One of them can be queried with IP 8.8.8.8. What's the IP address of the other one? Alright. 8.8.4. If a dense query has a TTO of 24 hours, what number would decrease show? So it tells what TTO is in seconds. So with 24 hours and seconds, which is 86,400. And yeah, last one, task nine for reading. Just talks about conclusion. Ask your questions for me. Read the final dots. Click that. And that's it, guys. Uh, show on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. As you complete the room, that was a long video, guys. Uh, you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the notification button uh yeah comment on my videos you like it you don't like it tell me what what to improve on and we're still in the complete beginner series of the learning path is loading right now sometimes it takes a while Come on. I think it's because the server's in the UK or something. And we're networking. End map. Not sure I've done this, but yeah, until the next video, guys, please. Uh, thanks for watching. So.